Hello, everybody. So we have our cute bot here and an external servo to attach to it. There are two different kinds. There are, rota there are ones that are angle servos and rotational servos. This is an angle servo. It goes to a certain angle that you tell it to. Rotational servos, they're continuous rotation servos, uh, kind of just spin around. Um, it's kind of like motors. Go clockwise or counterclockwise. But that's not what I'm playing with here. Now, the CuteBot has put in two spots for two servos. Now, they're not say, I'm not saying you can't put them on pin one and pin two. We'll do that later. But right now, they have these two spots set to uh, add two, servo, two servos if you want, S1 and S2. Now, you have to pay attention to how to plug this in, kind of like color. Kind of got to know what's what, because three pins means one is ground, one is voltage, and one is signal. So you need to know which is which. Um, with this arrangement that I have here, I have a brown, a red, and an orange. Pretty much red is always um, power. So that's voltage. And then brown, uh, black, green tend to be grounds. Orange, yellows tend to be signals. So I'm going to plug this into servo one. Uh, I've got ground on the outside, voltage here, and signal here. So plug that in there. And then let's go look at code. So I need to add the CuteBot extension because I'm using the actual servo uh, spot that they've created. So let's get CuteBot. And down here we got CuteBot NeoPixel. So on CuteBot, we just come in, we scroll down, it says set servo. Okay. So I'm going to start by setting servo 1 to 90 degrees. We can do servo 1 or servo 2. And we're going to set it to 90 degrees. Then we're going to pause. So I need to get a pause here. Let's go two seconds. And then let's let's just move the servo. So I can copy and paste. We're going to go to 90. We're going to pause. Oh, the angle servos uh, tend to only be 180. I have seen some 360 ones. Obviously, there are all sorts of different prices for these servos for uh, quality and power. 80. Let's pause again. Just simple code to make a servo move. Um, make it move as fast as you want, but you know, back and forth kind of thing. But you know, again, based on uh, quality of the servo. So now we're going to download that. My micro bit is plugged into my computer. We're going to come back to the webcam while that's downloading. It is downloaded. Plug into our QBot. I'm going to hold this up um, and then turn it on. So we should go to 0, then 90, then 180. Then back to 0, 90, 180. Now you might notice it's not getting all the way to 180. Again, that's with quality of servo, that's price point kind of thing. I'm thinking these are two, this was like a two, three dollar servo. There are 10, 15, 20 dollar servos. Um, this is also a, a light duty. I think nine grams is what they called a 9G. So decide what kind of quality on the servo you need, how precise you need to be. Zero and 90 are pretty good, but yeah, the 180 doesn't quite get there. Okay, so that's the basics of plugging a servo into the servo pins. Now I'm going to plug it in over here. So we're going to turn it off and we're going to use the, the QBot has broken out pin one and pin two. But again, look at the color code, look at the labels. Black is ground, red is power, the yellow here is signal. So I got a 
flip. You know, I had um, orange on the inside before. I need orange on the inside again, actually. That's kind of how they did it. Um, my brown is ground, my red is power, and my orange is signal. So I'm going to plug it into pin one. I could have done pin two. Um, so let's come over here. I'm going to get rid of those. Now, how would I do this? I don't actually need the cute bot extensions. Down here under pins, under pins, there's a whole bunch of stuff to do with the microbit pins and servo right pin. Now, my pin is not on pin, my servo is not on pin zero, it's on pin one. So I got to make sure I do that. And again, I'm just going to go back to 090, 180. I'm going to copy this, pause. And then I'm just going to copy the servo right, go to 90. Copy and paste is always nice, right? And then go 180, just to show you how to do this. So technically, I could put four servos on here. Servo 1, servo 2, pin 1, pin 2. All right, need my micro bit. to download the code. Okay. One of the nice things about MakeCode is they've got that emulator on the left where you can see what should be happening. Downloaded. Awesome. Come on. Come back to the Qbot. Come back to the webcam. And hold it and turn it on. There we go. 0, 90, 180. So there are actually four places you can put servos, but you know, use the servo, or if you need four, just, or just use the servo part that they have set aside. And again, prices on servos, you know, buying buying them in bulk, buying them individually, um, quality, power ratings, um, go from you know two dollars to probably 20 plus so again we can use our we can build onto our structure here and have this be I don't know an arm a hand waving an arm moving um, eyelashes fluttering you know whatever you could do with a little bit of motion on a servo we don't actually have to keep make make the coupon always rolling we can just use it stationary Use the wheels to just run something. Um, to spin like a, a lighthouse. It could spin the light on a lighthouse. And then the servo could be, I don't know, a flag waving in the in the breeze, uh, a door, a moat, a bridge on a moat. So enjoy.